guys, it's bunnies. <laughs> so today we're gonna be doing something crazy. Me and my family are going to try surviving an apocalypse. I feel really, really good. I feel like we're gonna last long because, well guys, I'm not gonna lie with you guys, I can't prepare. I got my ripped jeans on. I don't know why I feel like my ripped jeans are gonna give me good luck for the apocalypse. This is what I feel like I would wear if there was a real apocalypse. For some reason, my, my knees would be exposed. I yeah, I don't, I don't know. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and let me know other games you guys want to see me play. Ow, God. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button with your bunny paw. Ba, 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 do, 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 do. So we have time to go look at stuff. Okay, wait, wait, wait. There's a flashlight by the door. Soup. Timmy's in here. Oh god. We have a gun here. Oh! Come here, child. Ooh. Guys, we have to get stuff in 60 seconds. We got water. We have to the shelter. Where's my wife? We don't need food, we need water more than anything. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh wait, we have a radio! Get the radio! Let's go, let's go! Woo. We should probably hurry up. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Is that not the briefcase to get? Oh wait, we should probably get a, get a gas mask! Woo! Hey Timmy! Timmy, come here, Timmy! Oh guys, we're gonna die! We're not gonna get anything! Whoa, we should probably get. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten. Oh wait guys, I'm not gonna make it! Oh my gosh! Holy moly! Oh, this is gonna be so bad. We're gonna die. Day one. I left my wife. Oops. Sorry. At least we have food and water. Day one. So here we are. The three of us are safe and sound. We just need to make it from work. Oh, from work? What? We just need to make it work from now on. We really wish it was four of us. But it's only three because I left my wife. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyways. Plus when we got gaming cards. Oh yeah, half five. Mm. Uh, our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from the cans. We'll sleep from the cans. We'll even talk to the cans. Some of us already do. Hello. Oh, wait, you're open. Maybe I should. Why are you open? Did you open yourself? You're not supposed to open yourself. It tastes good. Thanks. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. We do got plenty of water, guys. Look at this. Mm. We're all stocked up on water. This is a little ducking. Ducking? <laughs> Guys, this is my wife! Day one, I had time to ration supplies. Guys, look, we, we did good on soup and water, though. We're not gonna feed anybody, though. Nobody needs to eat right now. Day one, it's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully, we will keep our peace, or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all! How? It's a cat and a mouse. Oh, whoa. Okay. Ted's looking good. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Ted, I feel like his hair got longer in a day. I don't know how his hair got longer in a day. Timmy looks really confused. Like, uh, excuse me, where's my mom? And she's just like, I don't know. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Day two. It's hard not to worry Consider our current considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life, but we can't lose hope. No hope lost. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. I'm in love with Mary Jane. She's my main thing. Like the good scout he is, Timmy's making the best out of the situation. He even seems cheerful. Good for you, Timmy. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyways. I feel like they can go a day without soup and water. I feel like they're okay. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Okay, going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Well then let's not go to the wasteland yet. There's nothing more annoying than silence. That's all we're getting from our radio. No music, no talking, nothing. Silent radio? Hello? Talk to me. Talk to me! Siri's here. 
I just wanted to hear your voice. I was lonely. You will need to unlock your iPhone first. Is there anything we could do with the with the radio to make it work in? We sure know starting it won't help. Sure, let's try it. Oh god, I think we just broke our radio. Oh god, look at our radio! Mary Jane, did you do that? Timmy? Oh man. Why? Oh, we're down a radio, day three. Well, that didn't go so well, we broke the dang thing. Technology changes so fast these days, it's hard to keep up. Who needs a radio anyways? I need a radio. We're down a radio. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Where's the water? With Ted needs it. All right, you guys all get food and water. I'll take you guys. You guys are good. Um, it looks like the air is still irradiated going out in the wasteland. It's unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. We're not going yet. Stay good. Day three. Oh, guys, day three. Okay, we have the most curious visitor today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse and using a pair of socks. Oh, rocks. <laughs> oh, and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride a horse. They claimed to be a very important guest and seek some magical cup. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. I am a... I don't know. I'm a curious visitor, and I have a galloping horse. Kind of look like a monkey. I need a magical cup. I got one. All right, guys, everyone's looking pretty good so far still. Like, Ted looks really good. He got this little, you know, cute little thing going on. He's going to beard. He's going to be fear of the beard in any second. Mary Jane looks plumper than ever, and Timmy looks okay still. I think we look good. Day four. Although we tried to decline politely, the guests were clearly offended. They galloped away, waving their wooden swords and screaming something about cutting down shrubberies. We shall cut down our shadow bodies. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in a coffin-sized shelter? Timmy's good. Well, at least it was five minutes ago. This morning has been calm enough for Ted. He's doing well. So I like to hear. Time to ration supplies? Nope. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging these conditions could result in radiation sickness. We have a gas mask. Maybe we should prepare. Let's go. Day four. The dreadful silence is becoming boring and like every happy model family, we don't have that many things to talk about. Is there anything we can talk about? Anything at all? Oh, anything we can do about that. Talk about food. Remember the good old days when you guys used to have Chipotle and pizza? Oh, whoa, oh my god, what's wrong with everybody, huh? How did you get dirty? Are you going up there too? Uh, Timmy looks like he's gonna die. Ted looks really tired. Have you guys not been sleeping? You guys are in a shelter! Day five, there's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear our neighbors in their shelter. Mary Jane's really tired, Timmy's really tired, Ted's really tired. Get some sleep, you guys, you guys are weird. Why'd you guys sleepy? Who's going outside? Oh, nobody wants to go outside? You guys, day six. Is it better now? Why are you guys not sleepy? Day six. Mary Jane is feeling safe who in a coffin size shelter. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Timmy, are you a bad boy? Bad to the bone. But na 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 na. This morning has been calm enough for Ted. He's doing well. Good for you, Ted. Time to ration supplies. Did they give water? It's not like giving them water, it's just not a good idea. You guys can go with that one. Alright, um, day six. It looks like the area is still irradiated going on in the wasteland. Now it's unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick, alright? If nobody can go out there anyways. Okay, we could have sworn that huge pile of water wasn't there earlier, and there goes another one. Oh, dang it. We're getting flooded! Let's grab some more supplies before they start floating. Let's grab our card, it's all we have. Day seven. Why are they so tired? Get some sleep. Let's get some sleep, guys. Day seven. We're all about survival and poker games. Hey yo, Texas hold up. So it wasn't too surprising when we went after our lucky set of card first. Not a single card got wet. Plenty of other supplies were submerged. After a while, the water level dropped and the damage it did was quite extensive. We don't have anything to damage. We'll have to deal with that. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in a coffin-sized shelter? No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. 
Okay, there isn't much going on, Ted. No trouble, nothing new. I'll take that, guys. These, they're not, like, bad. They can be feed and drink. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past. The atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived. The bombing somehow, it seems it rings. Oh, it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. I know when the hotline blast. Ever since the atomic bomb dropped, I got you, you, you. Day eight. Why are you guys not, you guys still look exhausted. Day eight. It's just too dangerous to just randomly run to a ring full in the middle of radioactive, radioactive ghost town. It's a tongue twister. Radioactive ghost town, radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for all of us. Mary James seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine and Ted is just fine. When was the last time they ate and drank? I don't know what it was. Nobody could go outside. Why? The other day we had a knock on our door and we opened it and found a suitcase on the doorstep. There was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? I feel like, yeah. Oh my God. He looks like Frankenstein. On 10, no, oh, he's sick. Day nine. It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was a lie. Either the water is irradiated or some kind of biological weapon. It made us all feel pretty sick. Mary James seems fine today. No news is good news. There's nothing new with Timmy. Tim became infected with something. Oh man, we don't have a med kit. To give Ted. Ted, you could drink water though, because that might help you get rid of sickness. How about we drink soup too? Soup and water makes you feel better, doesn't it? Am I giving a dead man food? Is anyone who could rescue us from this hell of a situation? It's our government. You can badmouth them all you want. That probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Hopefully. Because if he doesn't, we're kind of dead. We're all just gonna die in here. Maybe. Uh, well, except that one time when we. Never mind. <laughs> the government people are coming, and we should keep our eyes and ears open for any signs from them. But what if they don't come? Day 10. Can we leave now? Day 10. Oh man. If there is one thing we need to do, it's the radio. Oh, it's to use the radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcasts that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or surely run outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Okay, if there isn't th anything new bothering Mary Jane, like the good scout he is, Timmy's making the best out of the situation, even if Timmy seems cheerful. Timmy's happy. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. I feel like Mary Jane can, uh, I feel like if she, she's gonna get mad and then not want to stay here anymore. I don't want to see a dead man. Nobody can go outside. Oh. Why can't we send anybody outside? Guys, we're gonna die if we can't go outside. Oh look, Timmy looks so happy. Oh, am I not feeding them enough? They're probably hungry, that's why they're so tired. Timmy's rested, water is what Mary Jane needs the most right now. He's rested and Ted is fine. Mary Jane, you just complain about everything. Oh, Timmy's gonna go outside! Oh, Timmy, we're sending you outside, Scout! Okay, day 11, it's high time we stopped work. Okay, we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listening to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning into a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Oh no, Ted, are you dead? The rooms. Look guys, Mary Jean looks, she looks really bad. Mary Jean, you need to like, do something to yourself. Look at Timmy. Timmy looks nice and handsome. He's got his cute little ginger hair. And you just look like a pile of poop. Ted, you look, you got the nose running, a runny nose. And bloodshot eyes. Day 12, they say it's is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Mary Jane is feeling safe and went in a coffin sized shelter despite their dire circumstances and all the troubles we're going through. Timmy is being very brave. Good for you, Timmy. Ted is really thirsty. I don't want to give Ted our last little bottle of water and he died. Take the gas mask, kid. Don't you bring this back. Bad. Please don't bring it back. Bring us back some food, Timmy. You can do it. The family's counting on you. Oh, man. Now what are we supposed to do with you guys? Day 13. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Are we looking at the same Mary Jane? She does not look fine. She looks like she has dirty cheeks. She's growing a beard. And her, I don't know. 
She looks like she's 100 years old. Timmy went out to the wasteland? We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Why do we gotta put those negative thoughts out there? Can't we just think positively? Everything is awesome. Okay, equipment, the gas mounts. Ted said there's no need to worry about him, he's okay. Ted, you look like you're gonna die. What do you mean you're okay? You have a runny nose, you look like Rudolph. Rudolph met Frankenstein. It's not giving you guys anything. That's trash can of ours, it's getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. So we're saving some food. Yet for some reason we would like to tidy up this mess. Those giant green cockroaches are a pretty good motivator. We don't have anything. Uh, we're gonna have to live with those green cockroaches. You know, just, just gotta do, oh my God, there's an actual green cock. What the heck? You come over the mutant roach. What is that? Kinda looks like a, oh my God, they're huge. Oh, it kinda looks like a grasshopper. Oh my God, grasshoppers living with us? Those are kind of scary though. I wonder if they're going to make us sick. Day 14. Oh my, that thing is huge! That's what she said. This is how we do it. I'm gonna turn the music volume down a bit. Ooh. Ooh. 